When it comes to firefighting, one of the biggest challenges is getting human crews into dangerous or unstable environments. That's where robots like Unitree B2 come in. It's a four-legged robotic platform designed to operate in conditions that are risky, complex, or just difficult for people to navigate. Now, its fire rescue solution is already being deployed in the field. Here's how it works. Let's start with mobility. One of the key features of the B2 is its stair climbing ability. It can climb steps up to 40 centimeters high, including steep or irregular fire stairs, while staying stable and balanced. That means it can access multi-level structures even if they're partially collapsed or cluttered without tipping over or losing footing. Inside, the robot's joints have been upgraded by 170% in performance, which improves its agility and responsiveness in unpredictable conditions. The body is made from a composite metal material that's durable, resistant to wear, and designed to hold up in tough environments. It's dustproof, waterproof, and built to function even when conditions get harsh. So what can it actually do in a fire? The B2 has a modular design, which means it can be equipped with different tools depending on the situation. For example, it can be fitted with a high-powered water cannon. That cannon has a flow rate of 40 liters per second, a pitch range of 5 to 85 degrees, and a reach of up to 60 meters. It can spray both water and foam and includes angle compensation to keep its aim steady while the robot moves. There's also a self-dewatering hose belt system that gets up and running in under a second, allowing the robot to start dousing flames almost immediately. To keep itself from overheating, the robot is equipped with a trencher system, which basically cools its exterior so it can keep operating near high heat without damage or shutdowns. There's another version of the robot that doesn't use water at all, and instead uses air. The air blower configuration pushes out high-speed airflow to knock down flames and disperse heat. It could be especially useful in forest fires, where the goal is often to control the fire's spread quickly and keep it from reaching new fuel sources. The air jet cuts the connection between flames and combustibles, potentially helping crews buy time and reduce intensity. But the robot isn't just for the front lines. It's also used for visual reconnaissance. A long-distance video transmission system lets remote teams see what the robot sees. Even in smoke-filled or structurally compromised areas, that video feed helps command units make real-time decisions without putting humans in immediate danger. When it runs low on power, the B2's battery can be swapped quickly without sacrificing its waterproof seal, which is something that matters a lot if it's working in wet or flooded areas. These robots aren't just prototypes either. The Qingdao Fire Department in China has already added two B2 units to its rescue team. They've been used in forest fire drills for everything from locating the fire source to post-fire monitoring. After the flames are out, the robot can keep watch over the area to make sure there's no risk of reignition, an often overlooked but critical part of fire response. So while the B2 robot isn't replacing firefighters, it is giving them a new tool. One that can go into dangerous spaces first, act as an extra set of eyes, and even fight fires directly when needed. It's part of a broader push to bring more automation and smarter tools into emergency response. But what do you think about robots assisting firefighters? Let us know in the comments. And for more on all things robots, head over to Mashable.com.